the high school field now. The Chapman football team is just days away from their big crosstown rivalry against Mann. Our latest St. Mary's Medical Center Athlete of the Week is trying to make sure the Tigers get their fifth straight win over the Hillbillies. The Chapmanville Tigers are riding into week seven, sitting pretty at six and one, and averaging 48 points per game. A lot of those points come courtesy of running back Jake Robinson. Offensive wise, you can ask for a better team, uh, for a better group of individuals. Uh, our skill players, we're, we're making big plays, we're, we're doing what we have to do to win the game. It's actually Jake's first year with the Tigers. He transferred from Scott at the end of last football season. Uh, it, was, it was hard leaving everybody. I, it was really hard. Uh, but I transferred over here and it was the best decision I could have made. Uh, over there, in my opinion, we were a team. Over here, we're a family. We're, we're, we're always together. They always got my back. We're always, we're always right there together. And so far, the transition's been pretty smooth. Well, I think I fit, fit into this program pretty well. Uh, they like to give me a rough time. Uh, that's just how they are. Jake's been pretty solid, although he didn't think his five touchdowns against James Monroe last week was all that impressive. Uh, I thought, no, all right, I could do better, uh, especially like the first quarter. I, I think I could do better. Uh, never f satisfied with myself. I can always do better. I can always uh, make bigger plays. I can always, uh, in my mind, I can always do something better than what I actually do. Chapmanville's bruiser, Jake Robinson, our St. Mary's Medical Center Athlete of the Week. And Chrissy checking in. Well, it was divine intervention that sent Jake Robinson to Chapinville, and so far the decision has worked out for him. He leads the state in almost every rushing category and continues to get better. And as AJ Good reports, he hopes this success leads to a bigger prize down the road. He came over from Scott after a rough 2009 season, but everything came together for Jake Robinson, who finally fills it home. Uh, all my friends, I played football and all kinds of other sports with them. It was a hard thing to leave. It really was. Uh, I came over here, uh, fit right in with. I mean, I fit right in with them. We're, we're family over here. We're all, we're together. Robinson's arrival has sparked the Tigers' offense, which has averaged 48 points per game in 2010. A good sign of things to come. Josh, he's absolutely, he's passing the ball amazing. Dustin, he's receiving and and, and rushing. Uh, it's been great having him in the backfield with me. Uh, our offensive line, they're doing a great job by like setting, uh, beating the guy in front of. It is Robinson who has shined the brightest for the Tigers. He currently leads the state in rushing with 1,336 yards and in touchdowns with 21, making him a strong leader for the Kennedy Award. I've stepped it up to myself, main thing. Uh, I've been doing, doing everything I can to make this team better and to, I mean, to help us win. Uh, I can do better every game. Even though there have been very few winners from Class AA of the Kennedy Award, Robinson says that's the furthest thing from his mind. His goal is to get this Tiger team all the way to Wheeling. The coaches think I'm supposed to be in there, or they think I should be in there, then I mean, so be it. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about getting to the playoffs and making a run to the state championship. In Chapmanville, A.J. Good, Eyewitness Sports.